Today, I'd like to talk about the structure and working principle of the Yasa Axo flux motor. Let's start with the meaning behind the name Yasa. It stands for Euclid's and Segmented Armature. So, what does Euclid mean? In traditional radio flux motors, the stator usually includes laminated silicon steel sheets that act as a magnetic yoke to carry the windings. In contrast, a Euclid's design means the stator has no magnetic steel structure to serve this purpose. This eliminates one of the high waist components in conventional designs and segmented armature. This refers to the fact that its coil in the stator is independent and modular. As shown in the diagram, its coil is pre-manufactured with not only a loss for mass production, but also improves manufacturing efficiency and quality control. These coils are then mounted on the central coil. These coils are then mounted on the central coil. You might be wondering, is this coil made of laminated silicon steel seats like in the conventional motors? The answer is no. To meet the magnetic requirements and minimize eddy current losses, Yasa adopts a wound coil structure instead of laminated seats. Its coil segment is electrically and magnetically isolated from the others. But how is the stator assembled into one solid unit? Yasa uses the plastic base plate to secure all the segmented coils in place, forming a lightweight, rigid, and integrated stator assembly. In conventional motors, one of the main rows of stator yoke is to form a closed magnetic circuit. So, how does Yasa achieve this without a yoke? The answer lies in its unique rotor configuration. It uses two permanent magnet rotors, one on each side of the stator. During operation, magnetic flux flows from one rotor through the stator windings and returns to the opposite rotor, creating a closed magnetic loop entirely outside the state core. The magnetic flux does not pass through the center of the state, which eliminates the need for a yoke. This innovative flux pass design helps reduce the hysteresis losses and greatly improves motor efficiency. That c concludes today's introduction. Thank you for watching.